Hey guys, welcome back. This is Spirit Manga 187 with another match of Hearthstone. And today we are going to play the arena again. And this is, well, this is the last match I can play because the maximum number of wins you can get is 9. And yeah, I'm just one removed of that. And uh, if I lose, it's still my last match because you can only lose 3 times. And if I win, I uh, won 9 times. So that's the maximum. So this is still the deck um, that I built, the first deck that I ever built on uh, the arena mode and I wanted to show you a, uh, a other deck and I promised you guys when I uh, uploaded a new movie of, the, uh, of a new video for the arena mode that I will show you how I, build, how I would build the deck and then I would play a match with that deck. But yeah, I really want to show you one more time with this deck because maybe it was a real good deck that I built it the first time because yeah, I'm already getting maybe 9 wins out of it. So that's really nice. So we're playing a rogue now. And we are going to play against the mage. And let's see what we have here in our hand. These cards are all pretty nice. This one sucks against him because it's only at one health, so we can use his ability pop to shoot it down. This one as well, we will save that. And this one is also nice, but maybe for later. And we'll keep this one in our hand because it has taunt and it costs one less for each attack of my weapon. That's a really nice card. So this is a little bit better hand. Um, let's hope we can. Pull out a win out of this one. Then we have reached the maximum uh, number of wins. So let's get off with a quick start here. Use our ability. Here we go. And we'll hit him in the face. And we'll just end turning. So, yeah. So, the next video will definitely be uh, a video where I will show the deck that I built um, step by step. And I will play immediately a match with it to uh, show you guys how it works with the arena mode. And uh, yeah, I've, I've played pretty much uh, a lot of Hearthstone the last few weeks. And yeah, I'm really impressed about the game, but that was already when I just had the key. I, uh, I immediately liked the game very much. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So we can bring out uh, our weapon and cast this one because it has haste. As long as I have a weapon, we we'll just hit him in the face. Finish off his ally so he doesn't get anything on the board. And we'll attack him for two. So I do think that's a lot of pretty important, just like. Uh, uh, Shadow Era. Let's keep the board clean. Um, but yeah, that's also uh, a little bit of the uh, uh, the way Hearthstone plays. You know, allies come and go, you know. They doesn't stay on the board very long. They don't stay on the board for, for a very long time. Uh, what do we have here? I do think I want to play a Harvest Golem. Hmm. We have two destroying enemy cards here. This one says whenever you cast a spell from a card. I do I think I wanna save the stunt guy, so let's just get out this golem and hit him in the face for one more. Let's turn off the light over there. Let's close the door. Wiggle this one, throw it down. <laughs> Okay, what does he play? Defined shield, it doesn't take damage the first time I attack him. So, that's pretty neat. Um, well, well, well. That's not nice. Let's see if we use our ability here. And we play the stone guy. So just, I do think I'm going to attack him with this one. I will take some damage, but I don't care. I didn't want to keep these two allies alive, so. Or at least him. I could have attacked him with uh, this ally to remove his Defined Shield. But it would be a waste of my ally, and I can have the damage, so. If something has a Defined Shield, I always try to attack with my rope. 
first to remove the divine shield. So let's see, he's going to target my golem. Your magic shall not Silence it, so he doesn't have that rather anymore. That sucks. So now it's only a 2 3 creature or ally. This one has 4 3. Okay. Uh, let's see what do we want to do here. Hmm. Combo deals the damage, so I think we're going to play that combo card. Play this one. We'll just play him for two. And slay him. Attack with my hero. And after that we'll use our ability. So we have two durability of our weapon left. We used a 22, 23 here, and he uh, still has 5 cards in his hand. Dealing 1 damage to all the minions, that's fine. Because that Gulum was already pretty shitty. Battle Cry returns a friendly minion to his hand, so it's only a 5 4 ally now at this point of the game. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I do think I'm going to play this one first to draw a card. Let's see what we're going to draw. Copy a minion on the battlefield. Well, I do not want to copy any of this crappy minion. So, and this time I'm going straight for his face. And we'll just cast this one. I know this is a pretty good card to keep and keep it safe, but uh, I haven't really had a real profit of it yet in none of the games so it's pretty nice when you play a spell draw a card but most of my spells cost a lot of mana and I haven't really profited it yet in any game so we'll just play it out there as a, as a fodder cannon cannon fodder, fodder cannon <laughs> so let's see what we're going to do this turn we can still copy a minion, we can take him out with these two guys, but hmm. yeah, I do think we're going to do that. So many options. We have to do that. Hey, lights out. So I'm just going to destroy him. I'm going to play this charge guy. Hit him in the face. And we'll attack him for another one. Use our weapon. And I'm going to save this one. So I could use the help, but um, we can save it for a better moment. It only costs one mana, so maybe I can heal him or heal myself when I really, really need it. So. My shield for Argus. Okay, so that's a pretty big minion. That's not friendly. But we are going to assassinate it. I do want to copy something really more frightening. And we are going to do some damage to him. Hit him in the face. And kill him for two more. And that's it. Enter. So I can't really say yet if I'm going to win this one. Because he has so many cards in his hand. He has 10, ten uh, mana left. I, yeah, I can destroy an ally, I can copy an ally, and I can heal myself a bit, or an ally a bit. Next to me, minion takes damage, draw a card. Better card. Gives a minion plus two attack. Okay. Well, well, well. What are we going to do against this? I, I am. Hmm. You can also go straight for his throat, put him on 8 health. And. Hmm. I do not know, but I th do think if I play this one, it has a battle cry, so it copies our ally. 
but if I copy this one, will it give a minion plus two attack as well? So it will copy him and use his battle cry to pump it up. But I do not think so. That hey, it's, lights out. That, that's the way it works. So let's just go straight for the throat, taking a bit of a risk here. But we just have to. And I do think I'm going to heal this one up. So it will survive a bit longer. Attack him for one more. It will just play this one. Use our ability. And M2. So it's at 7 now. Have a lot of allies, he can flame this one. Okay, he's going to destroy me maybe. But does he have a pyroblast or something? Thank you. Oh my god, yes, <laughs> damage. That's a kill. Okay, well this wasn't how it's supposed to be, but yeah. So we ended up with 8 wins and 3 defeats. This was our last arena match. So we're going to get some loot now, I guess. Um, if my computer is still working. Yep. Well, it took some time to load. Here you see the key glowing. You can pick it up. And open a chest. And we'll get some loot. So you will always get it. If you, even if you have like two wins and three defeats or something. So you have five boxes here. Here you get some crafting material, which is pretty nice, some gold back. And I think this arena mode to access it, it cost 100 gold or 150, so this is pretty nice. I do hope I still receive a booster pack, but yeah, there's a booster pack and some gold. So this is pretty nice, so um, yeah, I played the arena mode for 100 gold, 150. Maybe I'll check it out. Uh, and I've won some pretty nice amount of gold. Let's see if I open the arena mode again. Yeah, it cost uh, 150 gold. Forge your deck from random cards and see how long you can last in an arena. The longer you last, the better your prices will be. So, uh, 1 euro and 80 cents or 150 gold. So let's go to the open packs uh, screen where we see that uh, the pack that we have won. And I've watched some YouTube videos where people uh, open uh, the key or the chest with the, after they have uh, won like five matches or something. And almost all of the guys always get a pack, so that's pretty nice. So I recommend you not buying any packs, always play the arena mode. Because you're getting a pack almost always. So there is our rare card, and let's see what this taunt and rage. Not really big fan of this card. Uh, deals to damage combo deals for instead. This one is really nice. Uh, whenever a friendly beast dies, it gain plus two plus one. So not really interesting. Destroy a friendly minion and deals. Uh, well, I, I'm not a big fan of this one as well, but this one is pretty nice. So you can make some a little bit of a combo with it. If you have an ally that has battle cry and gives plus two plus two to another minion, you can play this one, return it to your hand, play it again. So this, this one is pretty nice. And at least also for four mana, five four ally. And I'm still using the basic card, so this one is pretty nice for me. So I hope you like this match. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, next arena match I will be building the deck and showing you the deck, how it plays and uh, yeah. So see you next time. Cheers.